Okay, let's look at just a couple things we can do with the column headers to make them more usable. I'm going to click on the one to select all the column headers. Uh, one thing that's really nice to do is go to view, freeze, one row. That way we can slide up and down and still see them. Uh, another thing that I like to do is to go to format, text wrapping, and wrap. This is a personal preference, but I like to be able to see the actual words there. Sometimes I, I bold them uh, just to remind me that, that those are special headers. They're not part of the data. Um, let's see. The other thing we can do is sometimes, like here, we wanted to say sex, one equals male, two equals female. Um, what happens if we have seven different things? Um, one equals... Okay, I went ahead and typed all these in um, from the code book. So the question is, when you have this many, what should we do to make this more visually appealing? Well, one thing we can do is grab B, stretch it out. Um, if, if this is the one that, that has the most lines of text, it'll automatically update so that the column isn't so uh, tall. Another thing we could consider is selecting that text and going to font size, uh, maybe making it an 8, um, especially if this is for internal use. And if you can uh, let me not select the test, let me just select the box there and take that to font size 8. There we go. Um, that might be a possibility if, if you can read that and if it's mostly for your purposes. Um, another thing you can do is you can go to the format text wrapping and do a clip so it'll it'll start telling and, and if we get here and like oh what's a five I forget you can just click up here and you'll be able to see that it's Hispanic uh, I personally would rather like to see them at all times but that that's a person personal preference and actually for me I don't mind if if it's a little bit wider or taller Maybe I can't see quite as many rows of data, um, but I can still see a fair amount. And this way, at a glance, I can really quickly say five, Hispanic, uh, six, other, and so on. Now, I could easily add a second row. I would just click on the two, right click, insert one above. Um, I could also then go to format, or sorry, view, freeze, two rows. Um, and, and so I could be typing these codes in here. The issue is it doesn't really help me um, it, it doesn't help me save any space. I still have a tall two columns or sorry two rows. And the bigger issue is if I would want to put this data somewhere else, which we may put it in Jasp uh, later on, you really want to have a single row of column headers. If you have two rows of column headers, it, it throws the program off. Um, so that's why I tend to try to fit everything on a single row.